Hello and welcome everybody, I am Steam Engineer and today we are playing more of this. Narnia? This is the fun one. There's gonna be a lot of it in here because I'm gonna play. This one's gonna be fun. I've been waiting for this one. This is the one that made me want to do this. This is the one where you just get to play. You just get to play. <coughs> yeah, boy, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna make a nice mountain way over here. I'm gonna blow shit up. It's gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna drown all of these people. Okay, let's go over here and play. Left shift. Left shift. Oh god, how do I do it again? I want to... Maybe I have to have a bit of dirt first. Maybe, hold on. Uh oh, I'm sorry guys. Uh, unfor? Thank you. Anyway, back to four. <laughs> yeah, deal with it. I'm protecting you for when I start fucking with shit later. There you go. Anyway, I've been wanting to do this, so let's go over here, so I don't kill anybody. There it is. Right here. Boom. I took like all of it away. And then go over here and go boom. Isn't that just the coolest? More. <coughs> Boom. Get all the water that they're complaining about out. Oh, sorry guys. Let me get out of that. And then boom. Oh wait, I have to actually press four. Boom. It's like a beast rising out of the water. I 
I'm gonna try something. So let's go up here where it's already started. Here's the corner of the map. This is the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and take all the sea away. Cause I can. Like, even the sound is like a beast rising out of the water. <sighs> Should probably raise these borders a little more if I'm gonna be fucking with the land and sea and all that shiz. All that jazz. Where? Or give me it. I'm sorry. I think it's interesting how they named raising the earth up Atlas. Cause in case you guys don't know, that is Greek mythology. It is uh I don't remember the exact myth, but I remember learning about it in class, but <coughs> Uh, a guy named Atlas was insulting the gods and all that, so they pretty much made him hold up the earth on his shoulders. And I think it's interesting that they called this power Atlas because you're literally raising the earth up and holding it up, adding to it. Just an interesting little fact that the philosophy student in me enjoys. Should probably try to have fun with other powers, but I want to do this first. How much more do I have to go? Not very much. Let's yeah, see, there's. Let's go boosh over here. Like, you can even see it starting if you do it in a flat area. You just see, like, the whole area turn a bit wider. And it just. So cool. <coughs> can you imagine how much work must have went into designing and editing and doing all this crap on this game? Like, good god. Good morning, Hatchy. How are you? My hamster's awake. Chilling on his bars. He's so cute. I wish I could hold him. I really do. I actually did hold him once. I was so excited. Like, I had to hold him on a towel and be really careful with my fingers. Because he is mean. And he will hurt you. But I got to hold him. And I'm super excited about it. He's super soft. And really light. It's adorable. Like, I don't remember if I told you guys this. I'm gonna tell you it again while I make giant mountains. and Because I feel like it, and I want to fill this whole sandbox up with sand. Because I can. But I actually got him as a graduation present. This... Well, not this... Yeah, it would be this past May. He's almost... I've almost had him for a year now. And the reason I got him was because my sister was at Petco. And he was on sale. Because nobody wanted him, and he's old. But he'd been returned like three times because he'd eat other hamsters and he would bite people and nobody wanted him. So they gave him, I got him for like 10 bucks and like a really torn up cage was going to go with him to make him 25. But I decided to get him like an actual cage instead. So I paid like 10 bucks for him. And then the actual cage I got him was like 50. So, all together it was like $60 or something like that. But yeah, I just, we have a nice agreement. I don't touch him, I feed him, and I leave him alone. And sometimes he stares at me and wants me dead. And it's adorable. Because he doesn't get to, like, get fed to a snake or something. And I get to watch a little cute hamster run around in his cage and glare at me. Which is adorable, because he's these, like, blood red eyes. He's the cutest little thing. But, like, I don't think a hamster or any animal should ever be 
killed or put down just because they're violent. It means you don't have the ability to take care of them. That's what it means. Like, yeah, a dog may bite, a cat may bite, hamsters bite for the love of God. And boy, does it hurt when they bite. I actually had my middle fingers rearranged by a hamster. Like, you can see it kind of right there, how it goes up like that. That was from a hamster I had a long time ago. He was very old, and I woke him up in the middle of a nightmare because he was having a nightmare. And he bit the shit out of me, and, like, it went straight through my finger, and it healed up with a slant. It was cool. <coughs> I loved that hamster to death. His name was Tulip. He lived to be a very, very old hamster. He even got to the point where we could walk around without a ball. He'd just do it. Wouldn't poop, wouldn't pee, then he'd just follow me around. It's fantastic. But, like, even with dogs, like, m all of my dogs right now are rescue dogs. They're all mutts that have been saved from some situation or another. Like, Jack was actually a police rescue. His owner had left him tied up outside as a puppy. Didn't give him his shots, didn't feed him. When we got him, it took us five treatments of worms to get all the worms out of him. He was that bad, so... It's like, people like that should not have pets. But if you know you have the patience and the willpower to- you know you're gonna get bit. At some point in your life, you will be bit by a dog, you'll be bit by a cat, you'll be bit by everything. It's just part of life. But if you have the common sense to understand, okay, this animal's just scared. It's not doing it because it hates me. I mean, Hatchy might bite me because he hates me. He's just an angry hamster. That's just his personality. But... That doesn't mean I'm gonna kill him for it. I mean, God. Do we go around killing people with bad personalities? No, we don't. We're just like, oh, he's just an asshole, and we leave him alone. And we let their parents deal with him, because that's their own problem. But that's what we should do with hamsters, and other pets that are just have bad attitudes. It's like, okay, well, you're a prick, so you know what? We'll just leave you alone in your own little area, and you can be yourself. Off in a corner somewhere. Preferably not biting me. So that's what I do. It's like, it's not the animal's fault. Usually, this even goes with people. Usually, they are bad attitudes because they were raised that way or something happened to make them that way. And that's just something you have to understand. It's like, there was something that happened to these animals that made them the way they are. Whether or not you know what it is, is the issue, and you know how to deal with it, so... I don't ever want to hear that a dog is just a prick. I mean, he could be, but nine times out of ten, there's a reason. And that reason is usually an owner did not know what to do with him, and they mistreated him. Like, even I myself have mistreated an animal. But that was when I was little, and now I make a conscious effort. It's like, okay, it obviously came from a shelter. It's had a bad life. It was ripped from its family. There is something that's going to be wrong with this dog. And I usually have the patience to deal with it. Like, there's some animals that just cannot be helped. Hatchy, we had a cat we named Hellcat, just because it was literally the spawn of Satan. Um, it was when I was about ten. I know, you guys are going to hear some pet stories now, because I've gotten all myself riled, riled up. <coughs> I stuttered there. That sounded like a steam-powered giraffe stutter, and that makes me happy. But anyway, sorry, checking the daylight. I want to go for a walk at some point today. So I'm probably going to pause and go for a walk here in a little bit. But, um, we had a cat called Hellcat, and we don't know what it was. It was literally from a kitten. It was raised by my mom's friend. It was the worst cat I've ever had in my life. It hated everybody from nor not even like the normal cat hate it would like attack us and it would hide behind the dryer and just yowl and scream anytime anyone came near the dryer and it actually tore up my mattress like my bed when i was little it got underneath there and clawed out the entirety of the underneath of the bed stuffing was everywhere it was horrible and that cat had been well treated, well fed. It was treated like a king its whole life, which I think is why it was such a spoiled brat. It's because there's a difference between caring for your pet and pampering them. They're just like kids. You can't treat them. You gotta make them earn stuff, not just let them sit there. Although, 
dogs and cats and other animals should be given things regularly. Like, a lot more than kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know people with actual kids are gonna be like, No, you should give your kids the world. Pets come second. That's not my opinion on it. I don't have a kid, so I don't have that problem yet. I'm pretty sure that my opinion of that will change when I get a kid. But for right now, my dogs are my babies, and I guarantee you, every time I make food, I make three times as much than I, I, than I know I will eat. Because I know for a fact, the second my dog sits down beside me, I will not be able to tell him no. That That is my weak point. I will always feed my dogs very well. So, I've just accepted the fact that I know I'm going to give them each about half the plate. So, I get a third of the plate, they get a third of the plate. The other one gets a third of the plate, because it's usually Jack and Bree. Because the only times they're ever inside, because right now they're outside dogs. That'll change when I'm in a park, when I have my apartment. I might bring Bree with me, I don't know. It's a matter of convincing Dad to let me bring her. Bree's an old farm dog. She don't like, she don't like to move. She's about five now. She just turned five, actually. But, she's a sweetheart. But she's getting old, so she just kind of likes to lay around outside and just be Brie. Go off, kill a deer, and drag it up in the yard. She does that. She wrote me a 12-point buck once. It was fucking disgusting. But yeah. You guys are gonna get like a 30-minute video of me talking about my pets. Oh my god. But yeah, I really pamper my babies. They're my babies. They have to be pampered. And I think I've just about filled this whole thing up with... Yeah, that's fine. That's just giving them some water. Look at that line of palms. Wee. Yeah, I've almost got. It. I'll move on here. I don't know exactly how much of that you guys heard. I talked for like a good 30 minutes about my pets because Hatchie woke up, and then I got all ragey because people are bricks. But yeah, my pets are treated like kings, and I love them. And anybody that mistreats an animal is not a person in my book, because there's a difference between a person and a human being. Everybody is a human being, but being a person is very different, and I don't see you as a person if you don't treat animals right. It's like, the fuck did they do to you? All they do is just sit there and love you. And I'm gonna get all sorts of ragey again and again. I don't know why I keep stuttering like that. Maybe I shouldn't binge listen slash watch Steam Power Drive music videos before sleep again. Ugh. I have made a gigantic thing of everything, so. Breath of Lava, that doesn't sound nice. Oh, I didn't leave any room for that. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll play with it in a minute. Fuck it. There's going to be fire everywhere. Need one. Ooh, baby. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Woo oh boy. That's not good. Oh, this is fun. going for it. Okay. Anyway. How do I make it stop? X. There we go. Get rid of all of this. Anyway. 
I don't know how to make that stuff. There we go. X will make it stop. That's fun. So I'm gonna switch over to Earth before I step anywhere near these trees. And then spacebar. Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, four. Right. No. Um push. Four. <coughs> Casually make waterfall protection. me. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Oh god. X, 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 X. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Oh god. 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 Oh dear god. Mother of mercy. Why did I do that? Never touch that button again. That's what needs to not happen. I mean, holy shit. Okay, well, as cool as that was, no. Um, a lot of no. A whole lot of no. Uh, yeah, let's just not, and, uh, go ahead and make the other one. What? One, two, three. Four. What? Oh, you just have to be way over here. Yeah, I don't think I need the plants one. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad life decision. <laughs> now, because I know what's gonna happen next. I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, building a gigantic mountain over here. While I'm thinking about it, did you know that volcanoes can erupt so hard that they blow their cap off? Like, you know what we always associate with a mountain? And then the pointy tip and then the volcano comes out. Well, it actually is a volcano completely, but you get the point. 
Um, places like Naples and like Yellowstone National Park actually are active volcanoes. They're just really violent last time they erupted and they completely blew the cap off their mountain. So you just have this huge crater. I'm just gonna keep building up, see how high I can get. I'm gonna call this Mount Olympus. Oh! This is where they shall build my shrine. I think I found the tip, guys. Boosh. Yep, that's as high as it gets. Woo! Oh my god, that's that looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. It's like the details from like way up here are one way, and then there's lava way over there just being a prick. And then you go way down here. And you tab down here and you get like the smallest of little details. It's so cool. Did I actually summon people to the Breath of Plants? Or did I just build it? Nope, I just built it. <coughs> and this thing, I want to look at it. It's so ugly. <coughs> you guys are just chilling at base. Base of Mount of Olympus. <coughs> okay. Two, three, three. Boom. Add everything. Take everything. Add everything. Ah, oh, so cool. Whoops. No. No, uh, X, X, undo, thank you. Yeah, let's not light the world on fire. That reminds me of a Steam Power Giraffe song. Uh, it's not even Steam Power Giraffe, it's actually a cover. It's the one that goes, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to strike a flame in your heart. I just want to move on, guys. Can I move on? I'm done playing. I'm, I'm good. Can I go now? I actually do need in this footage. It's just been like an hour. It's been 47 minutes of me screwing around on this. Resume. <coughs> I know it just shows up. <coughs> And then everything goes straight to hell. I kind of just want to set everything on fire. <laughs> I'll do that right before I leave. <sighs> I'll strike a fire on Mount Olympus and just have everybody bail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Hello, Lava. How are you? Hello, lava. Lurb. I have. I want to go now. Where'd my cursor go? It's over here. <coughs> Whoa, hi. I saw you. Look at them legs. Me I'm sorry. Oh, yay. Let me move on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Okay. Let's go right here. Uh, 
Oh, I need to end four. Space bar. Maybe if I just save it, it'll let me. Maybe. It's not letting me, guys. Okay, so, uh, four is the necessary one. Look at the sky if you guys can. Look how unbelievably cool that is. Left shift. Raise this up. I'm just gonna wait for a second and let you guys see Look how cool that is. Like everything's collapsing around you. <coughs> okay guys, we interrupt this program to bring you everything on fire. It made me really sad that I didn't actually light everything up. So, I don't even have to win the game. I'm just gonna start a fire on Mount Olympus. Well, I have to make this taller first. Left shift. Well, take this up here, and you guys ready for this? Hmm? Hmm? Ready, 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 Okay, then. There we go. Oopsie. We've had an accident on Mount Olympus. Put some. Uh, that's nice. We need more over here. Oops. Fire, fire burns much brighter when oxygen is the supplier. Fire, fire, kill their desire to not be cold as they expire. Oh, burn and on Mordor, or whatever the thing is up here that makes that joke in Lord of the Rings or whatever the fuck it was. I'm such a good thinger. Anyway, enjoy that, guys. I kill everybody just for you. Get really big, so it has to take a minute. Oh shit, okay. <coughs> So cool. It's amazing, guys. I love it. Even if I'd have to play it a ton. <coughs> Dandy Sinikita, I see we are Bertama. It's the circle of life. We get back to the beginning of the game. I really enjoyed this game, guys. I want to thank Markiplier, even though he'll never see this video. I want to thank him for playing it, because he's the one that introduced me to it. I watched his Let's Play, and I just fell in love with it on the spot. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. I will go through and show you guys all the little memories and stuff we collected, but um, I absolutely love this game. It's a 10 out of 10 game, in my opinion. There's nothing that... I mean, it is a little hard, but that's one of the reasons why I love it. It makes you think outside the box, and it makes you go with, about things in different ways. And it's just a very interesting concept. It's interesting the way they did it, and I just adore it in every possible way. So, I really thank you all for watching. I have it comes down. Ugh. I want to thank you all for watching and sticking with me, even though I know this probably wasn't the most exciting Let's Play 
in the history of ever, especially when teamed up with Sly Cooper, who I don't know if you guys like, but either way, I'm happy I got to share this game with you, <coughs> and it's just been a really fun journey, even if it has some technical difficulties <laughs> while well, trying to play it on a Windows 8, so I would highly recommend this game. I got it off Amazon, although I think it's available on Steam, I'm not certain, um, but I know you can find it on Amazon, so I paid 15 bucks for it. So, it's not a very expensive game, and it's well worth the money, because you can spend hours on that last sandbox. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Uh, I probably, I actually have been recording for, I don't even know how long now, let me look. Uh, almost an hour. I have been on it for almost an hour now, and that is just on that last level. And, it's insanely fun. I love it. So, I hope you all have enjoyed it. Um... I really hope you did. I mean, I love this game through and through. So, thanks again to all these people that are flashing on screen right now. Uh, they've done an amazing job. I absolutely adore this game, and I will definitely be playing it in my own time. It's a Uplay game, so if you guys don't have Uplay, you can play that. It's the same kind of system as Valiant Hearts was on. Um, it's not very hard to download or anything. It's pretty easy, and they keep all your save files on its own thing. So if you buy it from Steam, it'll be on Steam. I bought mine from Uplay off Amazon, so that's where I got mine. <coughs> um, I might leave a link to the Steam one down below. It's just easier to get it off Steam instead of downloading the whole other thing. But I had to do it for Valiant Hearts anyway, so I did it for Valiant Hearts and got it this one. But, um... Seriously, guys, thank you all for watching this. I can't say that enough. I mean, these games like this that I just wanted to play and that you guys are watching, it really means a lot to me that you're even taking that time and just giving me the benefit of the doubt to play these games for you guys. Like, a lot of people don't watch them. They just skip over them. So if you guys actually watch this all the way through, thank you. Um, it means a lot to me that you gave this game and these developers and myself a chance to talk to you guys, even with these late videos and all the problems we had with the computer, because I actually figured out what the problem was. Um, my memory's completely full. All 1,000 gigs are completely filled, and it made a bunch of my stuff go wonky. So, that happened. <laughs> but... This has been an insanely fun game. I highly recommend it. And... Just, thank you. <laughs> I know I'm being a little redundant and keep m rambling here, but... I will be playing more games just for me in the future. I'm not gonna deny that. I mean, YouTube wouldn't be fun if you didn't do some things for yourself every once in a then The only thing I regret is doing it at the same time as Sly, when I'm not sure if people like Sly, I'm not sure if people like this game. Like, I'm sorry if the people that are watching this while I'm uploading get really bored with this. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but to me, this is an extreme fun. It's a lot, it's like, it's exactly like Sly. It's funner to play than it is to watch. Even though Sly is extremely fun to watch. Um, it just, it's one of those games where it's so fascinating that you have to play it for yourself. And I wanted to share this game with you guys so I could spread the knowledge about it. It's an older game, so it's very easily swept under the rug. And I think it, let's see, tw 2010. It was made in 2010, 1995 to 2010. So, <clears throat> it's an older game. And I've seen so many great games just disappear because they're old. Like, so many. It almost happened to Sly Cooper. The only reason I knew about it is because I played it when I was little. I was talking to my niece a few days ago. She doesn't even know what it is. And it's just depressing because that's an amazing game. And I've never heard of this game until I saw Markiplier play it. And even then, that was when this game first came out. So it's so easy for good games just to be forgotten. So my message to you guys for this video is... Remember what made you, you. Remember all those little things from the past that meant so much to you that it can just be forgotten so easily. Whether it's an old pet or your first boyfriend or girlfriend or a rock you used to like in high school if you're older than me. Um, or your best friend in grade school. 
stuff like that we forget so easily. But in the end, it's just the way it works, guys. Everything can't be remembered, so take a minute every now and then and just remember everything that used to be, everyone that used to be in your life, everything that is now gone, things you could wish you could have back, or just anything you want to remember from way back then. Just sit down and remember it, guys. Just let your mind wander. You'd be amazed at the things you come up with. So, I'm gonna stop talking for the credits here. Um, thank you all for watching again, and I'll be back in a minute with the uh, memory stuff for you guys. So, just a minute.